Sneaky Linux back again today. Yes, I'm back again. Again today. Today we've got Zorin OS 6.1 Lite. Yes, Lite. Why is it Lite? Well, as you can see, it's LXDE stroke open box. It's actually based on Lubuntu 1204.1, so it should be super stable and super better. Lovely, nice. I think now the, the 12 series with the point one at the end has come out. All the little problems that the Ubuntu had and Zubuntu and Kubuntu and Lubuntu should go away now. It's been long enough, they should have fixed out all the bugs for the nice little long-term release. Anyway, enough about that. Over here, you get shut down, you get your time and date, you get your wireless or Ethernet, and you get your volume, which is 100% for me. It wasn't muted this time, so that's even better. You get Audacious over here. Yes, hello, Audacious. Audacious does what it says on the tin. It plays stuff and does all stuff like that. You know, you don't really need anything else, but if you want it, you can install it if you want to. But we'll come to that in a bit, okay? But the browser of choice here is Chromium. Oh, yes, Chromium. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go to... We're going to go to Zorin. OS.com. La, 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 and I'll show you where to get it from. Let's wait for it all load up. That's better. Super duper. Does what it says, yeah. So if we go and get it, we want the free one, don't we? You can get the premium, which is only about 10 euros or 12 euros. It all depends. Now, one we're using here is Lite, 6.1 Lite. And it's for old and low spec for computers, or brand new ones. It depends how fast you want it to go. If you want to go super fast, you're really going to like this. Okay. Yeah. Also, says home software, get a tour of the galleries there, help, blog, and contact. So, if you want to get older, the boys, because they're both from Ireland, they must be nearly 20 now, maybe older, I don't know. But yeah, super duper, to be sure. Lovely. Okay, we'll come out of it. Now your start menu is down here, so we're going to start at the start menu, of course. Now being LXDE, it's got the archive manager, calculator, a character map, the disk utility, your file manager, leaf pad for editing your text documents. It doesn't mean to say like real ones, but hey, for text editing. Sticky notes and determiner. Okay, so that's super. But under graphics, you get more than what OS here. You get a document viewer, an image viewer, and simple scan all pre-installed. Bear in mind also that Zorin also comes with all the restricted codecs that you don't normally get with other stuff. Okay, it's already pre-installed, so like Flash is already there and stuff like that. So even better. Internet, as you've seen, Chromium is your browser of, browser of choice. Get Pigeon for messaging, Postla for your mail client, and Zorin Web Browser Manager. <clears throat> so you can actually e install more browsers if you want to. You know what? We're going to open that. And it wants my password. Dun, 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 dun. So, do I want to uninstall Chromium? Mm, no. Do I want to install Opera? Mm, no. Do I want to install Firefox? Mm, yes. So, what we're going to do? Yes, we want to continue. An error occurred. Ooh. So, we're going to get that another way. Didn't notice that when I was trying it yesterday. Okay. Didn't actually go to that. That's probably why. Mm. Anyway. Under Office, you just get Abbey Word, okay? If you don't get GNUmeric with it, that's extra. But I'll come to that in a little while so you understand what I'm talking about. So Abbey Word will open up. In theory, it should be the 2.9 series about Abbey Word. Yes, 2.9.2. So that's going to have all your extras, etc., etc., etc. Does what it says in the tin. If you want LibreOffice, you can get it, okay? It's no big deal. As you know, you get Audacious, you get XF Burn, and your media player for playing media, okay? Under System Tools, configure your firewall, GW Package Manager, install and view software packages, Gparted, of course, is always going to be there, and you get their own software center. Okay, so we're going to try this way. But you also get Synaptic as well, I forgot to tell you that, didn't I? So we're going to open up the software center. There we go. Looks like Ubuntu all over. Like it, I don't mind it. Some people don't like it, some people like it. It all depends. But we're going to go to Internet. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to go to Firefox, shall we? If it's let's download it from here, right? There we go. Add to the apps basket, dun, 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 dun. then go to my apps basket. Dun, 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 dun. Do I want it? Yes, 18.9 megs, might as well. It's 14.0.1, so we're going to install that from the software center and we'll go and do something else in a minute. Okay, put my password in and it should start installing for oh, yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Shouldn't take too long, really, should it? Really? We're going to have a quick butcher's what's going down. Ooh, nearly there. Hang on. <laughs> I should have a quick drinkage of water today, by the way. Yes, I'm on the water. <laughs> yeah, water with nothing in it. Honestly, I'm not doing anything else. 
Hmm. And very nice it is too. Okay. We're almost downloaded. 90%, 91 93, 94, 96, 97, 99, ooh, a bit more, and here we go. Blah, 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 That's all this stuff. Do you want to watch all that? Do you really want to watch it work? Do you really? Yeah, because it's nearly finished, so you might as well, mightn't you, really, when you think about it. Yeah, I'll turn it off anyway and let it do it on its own. I don't really need to see it, do you? But that's how you install stuff from the software centre, and that's, there we go. The app is in successfully installed. Lovely jubbery. Okay, now let's go and see if it works, shall we? we give it that first, of course. Go to start. Internet and Firefox is there. Let's boot him up and go whoosh biddy bang bang doo. Oh, didn't find my start page. Well, of course it didn't. I'll tell you what, just go to Google, that'd be easier. Just to show that it works anyway. There we go. Go straight to Googs. No problem. Go to YouTube from here as well. And just to make sure he has installed all the codecs. We'll go to my page so we're not breaking any laws. There me is. I'm me, I'm me, I'm there. Look, I'm there. Okay, blum, 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 blum. we'll just quickly play that one, shall we? Yeah, might as well. Why not? Will it play or will it not? Yes, all the codecs are successfully installed, so that's super of the duper. Mm -mm -mm. I can even make that bigger, can I? Go to a bigger resolution just to make it still working good. I'll make it larger there. There we go. Working fine by me. Oh, yes. There we go. Everything works. Out of the box. Nicey, nicey, nicey. See you later. But that's how the software center works anyway, okay? Right, you also get Synaptic, okay? I'll put the password in again. And here you can download other stuff if you want to. You can get anything you want. So I'll go to search and I'll put in open shot. I mean, you could do this in the software center if you wanted to, but you can do, use Synaptic as well. And it sits here, it's 1.4.0 lovely it will do what it says on the tin if i bother to install it which i'm not going to because i just showed you how to do that right where was i oh yeah right you get your task manager so i'm going to open him up see what's doing and as you can see she's using quite a bit more ram there and there's something's hogging onto my cpu for some reason now i did this for the last one as well but it should settle down shortly i think can we have a look at the next time yeah so on anyway we'll quit that it's not doing any harm at the moment, so hey, bit high usage for the time being. No big deal, is it really? Time and date, your update manager is here, so it's lovely. That's what it says. Users and groups, wireless drivers for Windows. So you can actually package them up if yours doesn't work. But to be really honest, most wireless drivers work now, okay? Right, Zorin Look Changer. Now, it's not as big as the other ones, but the main Zorin. You're just getting two looks here. You get Windows 2000, or you get Mac OS X, okay? Whatever you want, really. It's entirely up to you. But hey, do you want to kiss this one? It's good by me. It's good by me, boys and girls and kids. Right, back to system tools. You also get Zorin OS Lite extra software. This is just some stuff they package themselves, or just links to it, really, that they feel that you should have, and just haven't installed it on the uh, ISO. Now you can install Wine, VLC, Games, List of Games, Spreadsheet, which is GNumeric, MT Paint, and Media Center, which is Movedia, which is really good actually, I don't mind using it. So I'm going to try installing GNumeric from here, because we haven't got it, have we? Do you want to continue? Yes. This one works, it didn't go bang like the last one. So that's all right, we can live with that, can't we? Yeah, we can, no, we can, can't we? But while that is doing that, we'll go over here to desktop number two and go through the rest. You get your additional drivers, your Bluetooth manager, of course, your desktop se session settings, your disk utilities, all basic LXD stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You get your network connections, your monitor settings, open box configuration manager, your power manager, and your screen saver at the bottom. And that's that, really. Oh, sorry, forgot to show you. You can just run it from there as well, any program you like. Yeah, you can. Let's see how we're getting on here, shall we? Oh, well, it's still downloading and installing. Yeah, it's still downloading and installing. Still going to install. Mm. Oh, installed. Oakley dokely. Let's go and make sure it's all working. Go to Office. G Numeric is there. That was nice and super quick. I like it. What version? 1.10.17. Nicey, nicey. I'm liking. Remember, G Numeric does what it says. It does all spreadsheet stuff. Easy peasy. I've never had any problems with it myself. Okay. Others, yeah, but I have. 
Right, Zorin Light 6.1, I actually do like. I had a bit of trouble with some of the Zorins earlier in the year. For some certain reasons, just didn't like my hardware, obviously. But this time, it's working hunkily dory, and I'm also going to give it 95%, and I would say, go and give it a try. If you really want something all out of the box, so MP3s, Flash Player, movies, you know, and stuff like that, it's all done for you. You haven't got to go and hunt them out yourself. Although it's not difficult to, really, at the end of the day, is it? No, it's not. So, yeah. Zorin OS 6.1 Lite, 65%, no, 95%, super bleeding duper, sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later, bye bye.